Finally, MemGPT now supports Autogen. And this is a massive deal for Autogen because normally Autogen deals with multiple conversations across multiple agents. Conversations can get lengthy and now it has the power of unlimited memory at its disposal. In addition to that, Autogen reads and adds files to our system and now it can use this unlimited memory that it gets from MemGPT to keep file information in memory and be able to access it when it needs it. In this video, I'll show you how to set up MemGPT to work with Autogen and we'll do a small demo just to demonstrate that. Let's get started. So to follow along, you will need to create a new folder like this one. I've just called mine auto underscore mem. Now in the description, I've left two files that you will need. This is the requirements file and the app.py file. So once you've got those two files downloaded, just be sure to add them to your directory like this. Now the requirements file simply contains the packages that we're going to need to use these setup here. So that's just pyautogen and pymemgpt. So let's go ahead and open up a console and then we can start to set up our Quanda environment. To do that, we'll run this command. So this command here is just creating a new Quanda environment. I'm going to call it automem and then we're specifying Python version 3.11.4. So I'll just let that run. All right, nice. So our environment is done being created. We're going to go ahead and activate it now. Then now we'll use pip to install the requirements from our requirements file by running this command here. Nice. With all our requirements installed, now we can leave this terminal running in the background and open our directory inside of Visual Studio. What you want to make sure is that Visual Studio is actually opening this using the correct environment. So to do that, we just need to click at the bottom here. It will show us all our environments, including AutoMem, which we've just added. Let's just go ahead and select that. And now it shows that all the packages that we require are properly installed. Nice. So what you want to do is you definitely want to replace this with your own open API key so that you can run this on your open API account. Once you're done with that, let's walk through this app.python file just to see what the setup looks like. So this is some usual stuff. We're just creating a configuration here to run GPT-4 on, and then we create a user proxy like usual. So the user proxy here is just an ordinary autogen user proxy. Now we start the process of creating the memGPT agent. And we start by creating the memGPT agent, then we convert that memGPT agent into an autogen agent, as you'll see here. So we start by creating the interface and we create an autogen interface over here. And then we create an in-memory state manager. So this is what allows us to save and read from our memory state. Then we create a persona for this agent and then a human persona for who we are in this case. Now we create a preset. So this is the mem GPT agent definition. So we're just using GPT-4 here. We're passing in the persona, the human, the interface and the persistence manager. Now we need to convert this mem GPT agent into an autogen agent. So to do that, we use the mem GPT agent that's part of the mem GPT underscore autogen library. So the memgpt agent takes in a name and a memgpt agent and so it converts this into an autogen agent. So this will work like any other autogen agent that you'd normally create. Then we need to initiate the chat. So we do this using the user proxy like we've always done. We initiate the chat, we give it an assistant. In this case, the assistant is a writer. And you'll see that this assistant is being told to write a creative story that's 200 words in length for kids that like racing. So what should be clear is that you can modify these mem GPT agents into autogen agents. So you can have as many mem GPT agents as you'd like. And once you convert them into autogen agents, now you can use them like any other autogen agent. Nice. Let's head over to our terminal now and execute this particular file. So to do that, I'll use Python and then I'll just type app.py and let's see how it behaves. Cool. So now it's running inference on the beginning command to create a 200 word story for kids. And there we go. It's actually created the story. So of course, this example can be massively expanded upon. The important thing to keep in mind is that you can expand it as much as you can expand any other autogen project. So I hope this helped a lot. And if you found this useful, be sure to subscribe. Our target is 100 subscribers before the end of the year and i will catch you in the next video hope you have a great time peace out